Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Goner TV, number two. Episode two, Goner TV, we're coming at you. Sorry, the chat's lagging while I have to be up here doing this thing. This guy is the chat master. Thanks for uh, being on the chat. chat. Hi, everybody out there. Uh, He'll strike. He'll attack you. I won't attack nobody. We are uh, happy to have you here. This is uh, Goner TV. It's our second one. Last week, we had uh, Goner, uh, Tyler Keith here playing some rock and roll music. He's a goner. That's right. I uh, try to use this thing to get the word out about uh, fun stuff that we're doing, get some music out there in these kind of crazy times that uh, people want to hear, and uh, do whatever we want. If you got some stuff that you think might be fun for people to look at, send it to us. We're going to have the uh, address in the chat on the website. Check it out. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. So uh, tonight... Live at the Goner Shop, all the way from Louisville, Kentucky. Album coming out on Goner Records later in the year. The Arcaia! Useless, unrefined Project of self for you to end your mind You replica, you synthetic Just for the idea, you just credit your brain
Arcades are coming back with another set very shortly, but for now, you should watch some more fun things. Uh, the title of this one is 
one giant leap for kind man. And it's a spin-off of the uh, moon landing mine. Except this is supposed to be Mr. Rogers. Oh, and he's taking, I didn't even notice. I've been standing like six inches from this. He's a kind place. man and he's taking a giant leap across the crane. Right. Other than that, I have no idea why I think it is. <laughs> Are you rolling? Rolling. So this one is titled Just Enjoying Some Alone Time. And it's about a guy just uh, trying to get away from stuff and people and just sitting in the bathroom. but. He fell in the toilet, so he's still enjoying it. This one's called Born to be Alive. It's the title's taken from a song. I don't know who the band is. I understand how it's supposed to be funny. Oh my god, you're rolling. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so this painting is titled His is Better Than His, and it's about two people being stranded on a deserted island. And instead of working together to try and get off, they're competing to make the better SOS sign. And his was made out of sticks and it's getting washed away from the surf coming in. And his is made of stones. It's obviously more effective. So he is very happy and he's sad. So his is better than his. Uh, so this is one of the few paintings I've made so far during the pandemic. And it's called Eternally Inactive. And this is a an actual person that's dead on Mount Everest and I added this little Sims thing that goes on top of their heads and uh, I feel like this is just sort of the sentiment that a lot of people have that they're not doing anything during the pandemic that's what it was at the time so I made this painting about a dead person not moving one man's poop is another man's campfire and you can see this little guy sort of in this foliage, warming himself. It's basically just to riff on one man's trash is another man's treasure, except I made it about food. Thanks for telling us about your work. How uh -huh. do we keep up with you? Uh, you can find most of my stuff at Alex Paulus Art on Instagram. And uh, you just Google my name. <laughs> and it should Google be like Alex the top Paulus. thing that comes up. <laughs> yeah, you're the most famous Alex Paulus. That, oh, I hope so. Oh. <laughs> there are, I've got representation from three galleries, one here in Memphis called Binder Projects, one in Dallas called Row 2, R02, and one in Scotland called the Arusha Gallery. Worldwide. Awesome. Worldwide. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. Record Store Day is coming. Record Store Day has been split into three drops. The first is coming Saturday, August 29th. This year, you don't have to camp out. We'll avoid the usual Record Store Day riots. We have a fun, safe system for this year's Record Store Day. You will get your place in line by a random drawing. Then, we will call you on Record Store Day and take your record store day order so check out the list and have your picks ready submit your name and number by tuesday august 25th we will do our random drawing live on the donner site on wednesday august 26th then we will call the names in that order starting at 9 a.m on record store day Saturday, August 29th.
any of the Record Store Day stock left over, close online at noon. Sign up at GhanaRecords.com. Get your name in now!
equipment, uh, some streaming uh, little webcams, you know how hard it is to generate any real emotion. Exactly. That's what's flying out of here to you from the Archaeus. So I felt it. it up. I felt it. Speaking of emotion, we've got a lot of emotion coming from the next couple clips, which I just forgot what they are. Miss Pussycat's got an art show going in Pensacola, Florida. Oh, and, it's, it's and But right now... JB is going to tell us some of his favorite things he's been listening to. This is JB from Aquarian Blood. Take it away, JB. You're tuned in to Garner TV. We're going to talk about our favorite records of the moment with Bobby Beads. Take it, brosy. All right, friends. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk about what we've been jamming out to. These are some killer tunes. First up is the Archaeus 
Debut single dropped late last year on Total Punk. And if your first single is gonna start with a song called Rock and Roll, You Better Deliver. They killed it. Full length later this year on Garner. Next, we have Kiwanuka by Michael Kiwanuka. His label is a British singer-songwriter, but there's a lot more going on here than just singer-songwriter stuff. The music is clearly rooted in R&B, soul, folk, rock. But whoa, this music also has elements of Q-bop, Afro-funk, acid jazz, and this is an artist who clearly is not afraid to stomp on a fuzz pedal. And who doesn't love that? The hits just keep on rolling. Next up, we have Shannon Lay and her album Living Water. Shannon's based out of LA and I first came across her music through her punk band, Feels. And while her solo work is coming from a different angle, she slays it either way. Living Water is the perfect Sunday morning coming down record. He Is a ton of good music out there. Don't depend on Bluetooth or YouTube. Go buy some records. Hi, Miss Pussycat. Hi, Quinton. Where are we? Well, we are at the Pensacola Museum of Art, where I did a group show called I Forgot to Laugh. Uh huh. These are the Miraculous, Mr. Circus Peanuts. Mr. Circus Peanuts. And they're all functional maracas? They all shake? Yes, they, they're all professional maracas. What did you use for the, uh, the the beans or the rocks in there? There's different things, but aquarium rocks work really well. They're all resting and have little pillows. Why do they have pillows? Because they can't do a show. They probably can't do a live show until 2021. Uh -huh. They can do this kind of show and lay down on a little stage. So they're resting. So they're, they're sleeping or they're resting? They're just resting. They're, they're sheltering in place, kind of. This is their pod. So they don't have to wear face masks around each other. Can I see that one of the pillows that... Did you make all the pillows? Yes. And the pillows are made out of fabric, left over the scraps from my dresses, my show business dresses, mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, there's some double knit polyester. That was from Peter and Debbie Allen. And this fabric is from Kim Aber. This fabric though is from my sister, but the rest is from uh, show business clothes. Mm -hmm. 
So this is like, these are circus peanuts. Yes, these are circus peanuts. These are bear cats. That's the devil and an angel. Me with Christy Cornpop and a goblin. And this is Miracula. Uh, this is the history of ancient Egypt. And it's all part of one puppet show the Quintronimus Pussycat performed live on tours last year. It was created originally for Goner Fest in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, is that is that Cleopatra up on the wall there? Yes, this is Cleopatra, and she's a jig doll. I can't show you how she works because she's nailed to the wall. Oh, boy. Crucified Cleopatra. She's not crucified. She's just on display. And I want to show you this. Okay. So people get to kind of see behind the puppet theater. Mm -hmm. They can move around back here. Who are they, the, the seashell people up on the wall? These people are from Florida. They like to hang out at the beach and they've made their clothes out of seashells from Florida. Huh. So then, if this is a video of, uh, of this puppet show, right? Uh, it's a video about how to make a puppet show. Okay. <laughs> and that's on display here? Yes. The Pensacola Museum of Art. And next to them? January 10th, where? Uh, Pensacola Museum of Art. Cool. Part of a group exhibit called I Forgot to Laugh. All right, well, goodbye. It's been nice talking to you and finding out about this beautiful goodbye. show. It really looks fantastic. here at the Goner shop uh, with the Arkeas, uh, Chip, Chase, and Violet um, Arkea. We're really excited to be putting out this record. Uh, the debut is coming out next month, um, and uh, we couldn't be happier. Thanks so much for, uh, for coming, making a long drive, and uh, rocking the shop. Thank you both. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we're really excited about the record. The record's amazing. You could, you, I guess you've heard a song off it, and you just heard them live, so you know it's going to be great. Total uh, total demolisher. Um, why don't you guys, you want to um, tell us a little bit about how you guys got started um, and how how the RK has started and, and grew into the three-piece. Um, so we've been through everything from, we started out as a two-piece when me and Chase, I was 15, you were 16, we were playing like two-piece bluesy rock and roll, being as aggressive as we could at the time. Um, <laughs> and then like things kind of went awry and like we split up for a couple years and I came back with the same name because I can't think of anything else, I guess. Um, if it's good, it's good. It's, yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> and I started doing like a, a solo project called it like a one witch band but it was very much like looking at king louis and um mark sultan and doing doing that sort of thing shout out to our friends king louis and mark sultan shouting you out 
you don't know me yet, but not, well, now you do. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I was playing like the drums with my feet and doing that whole thing. If you've ever done that, that's really tiring. It's terrible. I don't recommend it. And so <laughs> after playing some shows, like uh, me and Chase hooked back up because we've always had, you know, a, v a strong musical connection for sure. Very familiar, yeah. It's kind of hard to play with other drummers after you're used to playing with a drummer for a long time. But yeah, so from there, got I got a four piece together after the uh, the solo project I did, and um, then went through a lot of bass players, <laughs> um, guitar players, and ended up with the magnificent Chip Crosby Archaea. Woo woo! Get those hearts out. Pretty much was one of the like major factors in getting this record recorded too, which you know not not enough thanks can be given for that, of course. But yeah, so that pretty much brings us today, excluding the Total Punk single we did, the seven inch. Also shout out Rich. Yeah, Rich Evans out there. Love Rich. Yeah. Well, I think everybody. I mean. Uh, the the word was out on the streets when uh, you guys were doing gigs. You know, you just you really got momentum from uh, the live reputation. I feel like people kept coming back to town after playing in Louisville and saying, "Have you heard these guys? Okay, is oh my god, they're amazing." We heard this like over and over again, like leading up to to um, I don't know to Goner Fest, like all the way the through mid, party. yeah, through the through the year yeah, and the after party, and then you played that after party and everybody Pelicans. just yeah, yeah. steamrolled everybody yeah. and uh, it was so fun. It's like three in the morning or something. It was awesome. It was it was fun to hear Four, the uh, maybe, hear yeah. the buzz happening and uh, sort of e e exploding. It and was kind of really cool and also kind of like frustrating at the same time because we were a band for like a while and were like traveling a little bit and just had no recordings so <laughs> this is like definitely it's good to step away from just like the live band thing or get past it i guess it's amazing how long it takes to when you get to be a band you get to be a good band and then it takes forever for something to come out to prove that you're a, a good right. band you know and it's just the time <laughs> delay is is pretty weird you know? yeah but uh yeah we're really proud to put putting it out really uh happy with the record and uh so it's uh, coming out in September. You guys uh, out there, watch for it. Pre-orders are already up and selling through them. So if you want to get your copy of uh, the violet-colored uh, vinyl, <laughs> it is amazing. And uh, a great, great artwork by uh, our man Marcus. And Marcus. Uh, That's right. There you go. You check it out on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, Marcus Joyce did that uh, really great uh artwork uh from him and uh yeah we couldn't be any prouder of that record uh and really glad you guys came down uh to to play and um you we're know we're gonna have them back for goner fest online goner fest coming at the uh yeah. end of september that deal just got sealed that's you, right you almost saw it i'd like to make the <laughs> announcement right now that uh the uh Archaeus band will be performing at goner fest 17 uh at, at the end of september september 20 sixth 27th somewhere 20, in there yeah fourth, we will fifth, have we will have more announcements next week on how to participate in goner fest all kinds of uh exciting things coming your way it's gonna be different yeah uh, rich evans art show uh inside a video game uh which will destroy your mind yes. so if you have a mind <laughs> hold on to it because it's going to get destroyed um what else um Tickets are, and we'd like to thank yeah. everybody that uh, had Goner Fest tickets that uh, uh, allowed us to uh, throw this Goner Fest by sponsoring this one. So uh, yeah, I don't know if it, I mean to trying everybody. to pull this stuff off is is kind of difficult, and uh, and so it really takes this entire community doing it. It takes bands willing to uh, drive in from Louisville, and it takes everybody donating a bunch of time. The festival is going to happen because a bunch of people were up for donating part of their tickets to help fund it, so we can get bands to try and do performances and so uh this really is a community-based thing and you know we appreciate everybody's uh help making these things happen we sure do i want to thank uh timmy vulgar and jeff huge uh 
huge uh, influences and have like inspired me a lot of yeah. the last few years. Of course, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, you, you can't get Timmy down, man. He is he is unstoppable juggernaut. Right hopefully there. they're watching. Makes amazing tacos too. I'd like to say I'd like to say hi to Johnny Garner outside. Uh, came Johnny down, came down to check out the uh, the show. <laughs> we got an audience in, outside. In person, we've got one. He doesn't quite understand the internet version of the internet show, but uh, that's okay. He wanted to be uh, we here. Love you, Johnny. Front row. In person is still cool if you can do it safely. All right. There's a little delay. <laughs> he just, he just, he just, he just heard it. Yeah. That's right. Uh, uh, so what what anyway. else do we want to talk about? Um, we oh yeah we we do have um, another we we're prepping uh, episode three which is coming in a couple of weeks. And uh, we've got Optic Sync performing live. Uh, and we also have um, some magical stuff from uh, D. Robert Ralston uh, the third, And Quintron. And uh, don't forget, Record Store Day is coming up. Uh, there was that little bit on it. But if you couldn't understand what was going on with that, we're doing a, uh, instead of people lining up and giving each other COVID outside and coming in the store and giving us COVID inside, or us giving you COVID when you come and visit. We'd like to avoid that. So we are going to uh, take people, uh, take your phone number, your name, uh, up till the Tuesday before Record Store Day, which is like the 26th or something. And then we are going to do a live uh, drawing of all those names, get an order of people. And then on Record Store Day morning, we will call you and you can say, hey, man, do you still have the Cramps box set and the Almond Brothers? And the Peter Lofner box. And we're like, yep, we got it for you. And then uh, we'll go through the names in order. We've already got a bunch of people signing up. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. And then at noon, uh, if you're not in line to get a call and all that, everything's going to be online anyway. So you can buy it that way, too. True telethon style. We'll have a phone bank out, several people on the phones, ringing up your orders. And, uh, you know. It's it's hard running a record store day record store right now, but we're still going to pull off this record store day uh, record with, store with day, our yeah. phones. So That's if you right. like record store day, we've you'll got still, something for you. Yeah, it, you'll still get your records. There's a lot of really good stuff, seriously, that uh, you know maybe you're interested in. So check it out. Uh, what's next? We got. Uh, yeah, I think we got. We're gonna wind this thing up with a brand new video from Optic Sync. Uh, that record is coming out uh, next month as well. Uh, our very own Natalie Hoffman and Ben Bauermeister, and this video uh, just came out, and it's really cool. And you get to watch it right. We'd like to thank the uh, Arkeas one more time for coming all the way down and uh, performing. And uh, Arkeas, we'll see you at Goner Fest. Cheers to everybody. Optic sync.